Hi, this is Ken Tangent with a note about sums of squares. Sums of squares is used to find out how similar or dispersed a group of scores is. You may have seen people use the deviation method for calculating sum of squares. They subtract the mean from each score, square the deviations, and add them up. But no one actually calculates sum of squares that way. The deviation method is for teaching the concept of dispersion. After subtracting the mean from each score in a long list, you get the idea that this score deviates from the mean, this score deviates from the mean, this score deviates from the mean, until you're really tired of the process. Dispersion is how much scores deviate from the center, the mean. It is a measure of group heterogeneity. The more different the scores are within a group, the larger they disperse from the mean. So dispersion is how many scores deviate from the mean and by how much. But once you have the idea that sum of squares is a measure of dispersion, move on to the Ross score method. It's so much easier. Let me give you the formula and then walk you through it. There are only four things to calculate and only five steps to the whole thing. Let's get the numbers first and then plug them into the formula. First, count how many Ross scores you have. Second, add up the Ross scores. That is, take the sum of the x's. Third, square the number you just calculated. Fourth, make a new column and fill it by squaring each number in the first column. Fifth, add up this new column. Now we have all the numbers. Let's plug them into the formula. The sum of squares equals the sum of the x squareds, column 2, minus the sum of column 1 squared, divided by the number of the people in our study. It sounds worse than it is. In math rules, we square before we divide, and we divide before we subtract. The result is the sum of squares. This is much easier than the deviation method. You don't have to calculate the mean or do all the subtraction. And if you have a hundred or a thousand scores, you've saved a lot of time. So relax. Use the Ross score method. For more examples and practice problems, go to statnut.com. And if you have a moment, feel free to ask a question or leave a comment while there.